Hello, beautiful people of God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you according to your time. Welcome to today's video. Today we are still looking at the power and effectiveness of visualization. You know, I keep telling people about this visualization, how powerful that visualization is. It's a very, very powerful, powerful practice. And meditation and visualization are actually the practices that God intended for us, like I said earlier in my like I said in my earlier videos. Yes, because they are very powerful. It is only those practices that will give you, will help you to know the truth, will give you awareness. But you see, we were not made to, we were deluded with lies and things that will not awaken us so that we can remain forever under control. We will remain and uh, remain control. You see? But meditation and visualization can help us. Like some of you, for instance, who are looking for, especially looking for pregnancy, looking for the fruit of the womb. Do you know that when you can use this visualization to become pregnant, it is, it is the spirit, it is the wisdom of God. It is the wisdom of God that you are people, they have refused to tell you. Who will tell you? Well, they don't even know it. It's not when they, somebody will know something. They won't even tell you how it is because they don't, people don't know about it. Only if you, people who knows about this thing, they only use it to manipulate others. They don't use it. They, the perverses are using it for evil. They don't use it for good. It's, it's, made, it's your gift to, that is meant to help you to solve all your issues. But because if they tell you, they will not be able to manipulate you again. So that's why you will not get to know about it. You can use this visualization. When you go into visualization, you focus. You create it there. That's why you create it. You focus there and create whatever you want. When you create it there in your meditative state, you visualize it in your mind's TV, you create it there. It will manifest in your physical life. That's the truth. That's how it works. You see, it's just like, for instance, like even when somebody that is sick, for instance, the person is sick and that sickness has defied all medical treatments. So the only option you are left with, when, you know, when they tell you they, they, they take the person to the hospital, someone who is sick in the hospital, the doctor says they don't know what is wrong with the person. They cannot find out, um, ascertain the sickness. And so the person will be left to die. It is in this space now that you, you can use the power of your mind to heal yourself. You use the power of your mind to heal yourself. How do you heal yourself? You go into visualization. You send light to that part of the body that is sick. You send light. You just be visualizing, seeing a sort of light, you know, consuming your body. Anyhow you want to see it. You can see it entering your body like this. You can see it, the source of light from above. Let's imagine, let's say that, okay, like you will see an image of an angel that will show you with the sword, with light. You can visualize that. You visualize that angel, visualize God, like God is pouring you that light from above and is healing you. If you do all this literary practice, they are very effective. It will help you heal yourself. You can do that. If you are sick, you see that light falling on you, entering your body, and washing away anything that God didn't put there. It will wash it off. To, you will create that reality by yourself. You know, you use the power of your mind. It is the way, that is why I told you why the Bible, some of these things, it's the reason, one of the reasons that you read in the Bible that the, the Bible says that we perish for lack of wisdom of the things of God. You see, some of these things are things that you use to enhance your, enhance your life, things that, you, that will help you. But you know, go feed the do one because not be waiting, they teach you from small. In fact, if you hear the thing now, you go say they, they lie to you. You go even say, I don't want to lie, no be, no be anything. All of us don't do get that now. But you have to believe that it will work for you. Is that can anybody achieve anything without believing in it? It doesn't work like that. You have to believe. If you believe and you go into it, you will see that it will work for you. That's how it works. You have to believe and it will work for you. Is it say can you okay? Imagine this scenario now. A man who is with a woman, 
How do I help just put it in the way that it does sound? It will not a man and, and a woman. Do you, uh, before I even start that one, do you know that we we visualize on daily basis? All of us visualize. We visualize on daily basis. But the only difference is that we visualize the things that we don't like. We visualize the wrong things. When we visualize those things, we the outcome because it's not our we are you know we are already on autopilot because based on our programming our the the beliefs programming of our various cultures. So we are we are programming that way. We are already in, in autopilot. So those things they happen automatically. We don't whether we put our minds there or not, they manifest because we are already on autopilot. They happen. We manifest them. So but if you begin to intentionally reprogram your mind. But like in this one, even if you don't reprogram your mind and you begin to engage in this visualization, just as like you do unconscious, because you engage on you engage in visualization unconsciously. But you should consciously, one minute, please. Okay. You should consciously visualize. When you consciously, because that's why you are going to place an intention. When you place that intention and you visualize, you are going to manifest the intention you have placed. What you put, what you, your intention is, is what you are going to manifest. So, place an intention of manifesting things that you do not intend to manifest by your focus, because when you focus on anything, it expands. You see, your focus is now creating scenarios, making you manifest things that you do not intend because of your thought. When you think them, you focus on them, you manifest them. But there are mostly things that you do not intend to manifest. And of course, there won't be things that you want. They are negative stuff. But when you place the intention and manifest and, and visualize with that intention, you will manifest the thing that you want. So you see, just like, you see how this manifests, this uh, visualization works. Let me give you a common, a simple example. It may sound odd, but it's, it's, I just want you to understand what, how it works. You see, for example, a man who loves a woman, a man loves a woman, and uh, maybe at some point he was with that woman. Okay, soon the woman disappears. The man didn't see the woman again. But for the fact that the man loved that woman, and uh, perhaps maybe he had some good times with the woman, and that period the woman was with him, he was very happy and all of that. So now that the woman is no longer there, he cannot see the woman again. He's only there, but from time to time he still remembers the woman. Okay, whenever, the moment he will, he will think about the woman, in relation to the activities they were having when she was around. You see, whenever he thinks of the woman based on that, you will see that the man himself, he will, is, there will be a, a body response, you know, when he's thinking about the woman in the way they were intimate, you know, when, how intimate they were when the woman was around, what the woman used to do to him that he used to like, how he was enjoying the moment and all of that. Do you know, he can use that experience. He will use that period, that experience with that woman. And when he focus on it and think about it, the woman is not there. Only. Just that thought and that feeling. You know, it will generate a kind of feeling in his body. When a man thinks of the woman and the activities that were engaging in, in, in at that time, and, excuse me, <coughs> and how that period or her presence made him feel you know you will there is there's going to be a body response to that to that um, thought and what will happen once there is that body response is is going to have some kind of belief let me just say that okay if he thinks about the woman and the activities they were engaging together let's say uh, uh, they were intimate and he enjoys the moment as he reflects on that and put his focus there. Do you know that a man can ejaculate? 
How did why did he ejaculate? Somebody will call somebody. You are not with somebody, for instance. Your friend is far away. But because he, he desires you at that time. And um, he cannot see you. Because you are not in the same, you are far away from each other. He will call you on phone. Are you okay? Where are you? I miss you. I just want to talk with you. He will be asking you, how do you feel? As I'm talking to you, how do you feel? You know, just that your communication alone. Because he puts his focus, his mind, in what in the times he had, in the intimate times he had with you. So that is visualization, no. Let me tell you, you are is visualizing. You see, it's only in that aspect, that intimate aspect with the opposite sex, that people focus more, people manifest more because that is where they focus, they focus mostly. That is where they visualize. It is only in that aspect I've seen that people often visualize because that is visualization. When someone is elsewhere, you are here. You are, you feel like maybe you come see the person or getting intimate with the person, but the person can't be rich at that time. And then you call the person on phone. You are communicating. You try to visualize the last time people were together. And the next thing is that your body rest, your body will respond to that. And the next thing is that you have a release, you have ejaculated. That is visualization. That is the simplest way that you, you can understand how this visualization works. The same thing is not restricted to only one thing. It, it's applicable to every other thing. Now, so it be. As if they happen for that one, that's so if they happen for every other way, or every other one too. Anywhere you place your focus, you place your intention, you visualize it, you see it happening, it manifests in your physical reality. Now, so it be for every place. So I want to understand it that way. So that you learn meditation, you learn how to visualize, and so that your life will begin to evolve. I just want you to evolve. Because many people don't die, they don't find God. They don't die, they still they suffer for where they do. They never even go any place. For the dimension where they are on earth here, yeah, we know they any heaven, no, that dimension where they are there. Yeah. Even the one where we die and go. It's still here, but it's just that the spaces are different. Now, dimension, one dimension way there on earth here. <laughs> when you die here, this death is nothing, it's just a transition. People are just afraid of death for nothing. Death is just a transition if you move from here. Now, just kilometers so you don't enter another dimension, where it will be your permanent home. Depend on how you live. Oh. This one, when they tell you, say, you go there, go one heaven, way far. Right? They just, they lie to you. Then they delude you. There is not, it's an illusion. In no day. There is nothing like that. Heaven, no day, any place. God, they inside you. You know they die, go any place. Where you are, where you die and go. is where, where, if you live where, yeah, if you involve your soul. And you move from this space to the space of love and unity. You, you will enjoy, you will live well, you will live good. That place is just avenue of love and unity. Where there is peace, it's a beautiful place. You know, they're any far place, so they're very close to where we do. But that one they are telling you is this, this is the metric, the ego, the metric system that they always like twistings. They will tell you so that, they will tell you all those things so that you don't know the truth. You see? But you have to live here, evolve yourself. So that when you leave this space, to so the next space, you are going to be happy. You will join in the unity of God's children. And in the, in the good day among people where God has chosen them. And you will enjoy your life. That is the heaven they are talking about. It's a beautiful place. You know, far, you just there around here. If you move small here, you don't reach the place. And those ones where no serve God too. They are placed to no far. It did down, not down there. They will go there, go they suffer. Some don't die, yo. Then they suffer. They don't even know so they don't die. They don't die. People don't die. They don't know so they don't die. Then they find help. Oh. Then they find people where will place intention for them to leave that space to another space. You see this thing I'm telling you? It's an experience. my own experience too. People who are dead, if you begin to do meditation, you will be of help to even so many people, even to people who are dead. If you are doing meditation and you become awakened, 
you may be, it may be your calling, it may not be your own, maybe some other person's own, but it's part of my own calling. Do you know that I've been an advocate for the dead? I have been an advocate for the dead. You see, when this thing started happening to me initially, I was surprised. I used to see, I would go and sleep. I begin, I, I, I began to see, you know, I used to see dead people. I could see dead people, then they come. Then they come meet me, they tell me things, then they come meet me. So I'm gonna tell me how they take that. So I'm gonna tell me, they're gonna tell me different, different things. Different, different dead people. Initially, I don't understand the thing. So the first time they don't complain to you, they just they come few. Those few when I see, I used, I saw like five dead people that time when they come to me regularly. But they know they come, they go come, this one will come like uh, after a month, another one will come, another one or two will come. They just they come like that. So as I see them, I don't know what I want. I just ah, these people. And then they tell me some, they send me message. Make I go tell some person. I go come, come. I mean, I'm not there for the pleasure that they send me for the message. So I go they ask, I say, okay. I go come on phone. I say, do you know so, 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 does this person has a doctor? Now so I go they call. I mean, no, if you go there. So the thing I was not doing is that when I sit there, they, they complain to me. When I started my awakening, oh, yeah, oh. So I can't they write their names down. I go write their names. The ones where I know, some way come to me. I know, I know, you know, so that kind of say, no, if you remember to ask their names, but the ones where me know, I can't write their names. So when I write their names down, you no, know, I can't go use, uh, I use envelope, put the names inside, come put some money inside, come go church. You don't see this thing, eh? Some of this, this practice that they do in Catholic, it's, it's true, eh? It's true. I have seen that, that practice. I never did it before, but when I tried that, and I was, hey, this thing is true. Before I was not, I didn't, I, I was not, I didn't believe it like that. But after that experience, come on, these people were done that. When they serve God, you see? They live anyhow, anyhow, yeah. Oh, they don't die, they are suffering. Now they need help from the living. You see how it takes be? So me, I put money now. Go submit them for... Okay, I just do that thing. I don't even think anything. No. After me, can't do that one. <laughs> now, so all the dead people where don't die for my place. The ones, plenty, not all, no. the ones where they're for good places, they did there. They, those ones, they're there for where they enjoy their places. I don't know how I managed to reach all those areas. No. Sometimes I for medita in meditation, eh? So when I place those intentions, do those things, these people come, they come more to me. They come, they come more. They go, they send me, make a right, make a place for them. From that experience, I now saw people that died when I was still a young girl. A young girl, imagine. People that died in the 80s, when I was still small. Excuse me. <coughs> people that died in the 80s. Huh? I remember this, my friend's father that died around that time. This man came to me. They don't die, yo, but then, then they suffer. They know they good place. So then they live for bush. They are there too. It's not like they are suffering. Hmm. Make we live well. Make we meditate. Make we evolve our souls. So that when we leave this space, not be this one where they live for ego. Ego, they control us. They do all these things. And when they do all these things, we see they go to church. So we won't go pray to God. We go pray, finish, we go come back, we continue from where we stop. Not be that light, they carry person go that heaven way in the year. Not be that kind one, they carry you go to that that space where that I'm telling you, maybe they tell you now, so you go feel live way. Not be that life. And you know another thing. Not be say they no desire to live the life of God or the good life. They desire to live. But this ego space where we did. It did difficult. It did, that's why I don't feel blame anybody. It did difficult to, to, to live without involving yourself. In fact, they lie is too much, self. Even when you see truth, you go send a lie because they don't too lie to us for you. You see the problem? So, you have to live where. How do you live where? You know, if you do one by your own power, you know, if you do live one as they go to church. So you will walk out, go church, we go do all that drama, what would they do for church? Shout, hey, bre, 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 bre. 
all these hypocritic prayers when will they pray? I go one year you. God's way is stillness. Pray in silence. The Bible says, go inside your house, close the door. Not making noise on the street. It is the hypocrites that does that. It's even in the Bible now. The Bible says, don't pray like the hypocrites do. Those ones who choose the, the choicest seat to sit down in event. Who they will want to place them on the seat and say that they are the big people in the world, you know? All those kinds. No, those are the ones that will be shouting to let people see that they are praying and they know God pass. That is the way we are doing here. Not be that one, the kind of person go that place. Now, quietness, oh no. Stillness. Quiet. When you throw away all this uh, gri gri, what would they do? Then you can. You know, if you serve God, when you did, you allow this flesh to control you. You allow, because the, desire, the desires of the flesh, they are opposed to the desire of God. That of God, they are opposed to the desires of the flesh. And that is the ego. And that's the way we they live every day. We are living it. Even with, as we believe, say, we they serve God, we know they serve God. Though. We are serving the ego as we did here. So, because waiting God talk, different from waiting we they do. Even the things we did by Boko. It is not those ones we are practicing. We have thrown our humanity away and we now embrace the ego. Now, the dictator of the ego will they follow, they do everything. You see? So, what we will go do? Now, to do meditation, if we do meditation, you go transcend your ego. Now, the thing we go feel carry you evolve with that too. If you want to follow, say, because you do go church, you not go easy, my brother. You not go easy, my sister. You know, easy. You know, because the temptation where they say you will not feel resist. You know go feel resist. And you will not be able to resist by your own power, you know feel resist. You need help to resist all. That's why they hear this. They say this one do like this. Oh now, Pastor, if you know this one, do you blame them? It's not easy for them to resist. You see to it. Why? Because they are in the ego. But the thing that can surmount that ego, that will bring ego to its knee, that will that will crumble it. And gives you that freedom to be able to live the life that you are expected to live is meditation. Once you start to do that meditation and visualization, your ego will be transcended. You ego be like say the body, your ego go die inside pain. Because you are suffering it. It go die a natural death. And when your ego don't die. All these things, you're not going to desire them again. These things, where would they do so? Where would they talk? You will not desire them again. And once you don't desire them again, you are free. You live a free life. You will be able to evolve your soul. And when you leave this space, you will be happy. Come on, how old are you now? How many years still remain? Forget all this. Where would they do? I want buy a house. I want do this one. I want build this one. How many years remain? But, but let's say, if you be 40, 45 now, you're not going to feel it for another 50 now. Ah, yes, another 50. You don't go. And when would, how many years where 50 don't reach? Eh? And not everybody go reach there. Some go die earlier. Eh? You see? Eh? So, it is, this is the time for us to learn meditation, learn visualization, trans, transcend the ego, and evolve your life so that you will find peace. For number one, you go live where you No, because when do you come here to go to do? Don't be to serve. Serve God. Serve humanity and evolve your life and evolve your soul. Now, the only reason why you're there is that. Too. And if you don't do those ones, you should be happy to die because you have served and you have evolved yourself. And besides, if you are doing meditation, you're not going to be afraid of death anymore. Uh -huh. If you are doing meditation, you will never be it will, it will not take dissipate, uh, dissipate fear completely. Who oh, they fear because of all these wrong, wrong practices where they deceive them, so they, they, they do. Once you are doing meditation, you won't even be anything about, afraid of anything about death. In fact, you'll be ready to die anytime. You'll be ready because that fear of death is out of you. And moreover, you are following the way that you should go. So why should you be afraid? No. You will be happy. Even then, come now, you are ready to die and go. You see? So that is how it is. That's why it's important that you learn. It's important that you learn meditation. You learn how to meditate. Transcend these ways that we are living here and evolve your soul so that you will find peace. It's not only that though. You can still live well here. Yeah. You can still make money because I don't say that money be the concern of everybody. It's not because that if you do that. 
If you do that, that's where you even make money. You will live better. In fact, now ticket to making money, your life will change. You will be transformed. Every area of your life will transform. Meditation is powerful. Eh? Visualization is where you create anything you want. So here, I'm going to see shake my shoe. Because this message, now, I'm, a, I'm just a messenger. I was sent to do this thing. And I'm doing it. So when I do finish, I will shake my shoe. So that the dogs will be our witness. Not be saying, I don't talk more. I don't talk my own. May God bless you. Have a nice time. Cheers.